Two typhoons, Praparoon and Guyami, are expected to impact China's eastern seaboard in July 2024. Praparoon, named after a Thai rain god, already made landfall, followed by Guyami. These cyclones are forecast to bring gales and heavy rainfall to China's eastern coast. Zhengzhou, the capital of China's Henan province, was plunged into chaos on July 22nd as torrential downpours triggered by intense convective weather inundated the city. <laughs> The sudden deluge caused widespread water logging, forcing authorities to suspend several bus routes as roads transformed into rivers. In response to the rapidly deteriorating conditions, the Zhengzhou Meteorological Observatory raised the alarm, issuing an orange rainstorm warning. The public was urged to exercise extreme caution due to the heightened risk of urban flooding and other related hazards. The city's emergency response team sprang into action with personnel, equipment and resources mobilized to tackle the crisis as the rainfall varied across Zhengzhou. local authorities implemented tailored strategies to manage the situation effectively. The focus was on swift water drainage to minimize the impact of the flooding. However, the challenges were immense. Recent weeks had already witnessed multiple rounds of heavy rain saturating the ground and creating a heightened risk of disasters. With the situation growing increasingly perilous, the Zhengzhou Flood Control Command issued a stern warning emphasizing the need for vigilance and preparedness. Flood control personnel were ordered to be on high alert, closely monitoring weather conditions, water levels and potential risks. The priority was to ensure public safety through timely evacuations and rescue operations, adding to the region's woes. Typhoon Prapirun, the fourth tropical storm of the year, made landfall in Hainan province. Packing winds of up to 28 meters per second, the typhoon was projected to move northwestward into the Beibu Gulf, bringing heavy rain and strong winds to Hainan, Guangdong, and Guangxi. Meteorological authorities issued both blue rainstorm and yellow. Watch here.
typhoon warnings, anticipating rainfall exceeding 100 millimeters in parts of the region. In anticipation of the typhoon's impact, the National Flood Control and Drought Relief Headquarters dispatched a team to Hainan to oversee disaster prevention efforts. The combination of the typhoon and the preceding heavy rains placed an enormous strain on the resources and capabilities of the affected regions. As the situation evolves, authorities and residents alike are bracing for what could be a prolonged period of recovery and rehabilitation. The convergence of these extreme weather events underscores the growing challenges posed by climate change. As the world grapples with the intensifying impacts of global warming, it is imperative to invest in resilient infrastructure, early warning systems, and emergency response capabilities to protect lives and livelihoods.